uh, when you're talking about saving lives, you know, uh, you need every tool uh, at your disposal uh, to make sure that we are saving more lives than we're losing. The importance of NET is, uh, and the device is, it gives us a, a, a tremendous tool in our arsenal to save lives, uh, literally, and then to help people reestablish what will be the remainder of their lives and give them control over uh, their own destiny and their future. UNIT was developed by Dr. Patterson back in the early 1970s in Hong Kong. She discovered that a small amount of stimulation to the head could change your uh, brain's chemistry and it could cause people who had been addicted for their lives on opium, could cause people to stop craving opium and then to successfully uh, remain abstinent from opium. She extended that technology to include heroin and to include cocaine and a number of other drugs. What we've done is figured out how to automate her process so that a relatively untrained practitioner can use a device to, with a great deal of success, take people off of prescription drugs and the illicit drugs, cocaine, opiates, methamphetamines, and others. And so the, the precept of, of, of NET uh, I was intrigued with, that, that as a treatment provider, that we could detox somebody non-medically, non-narcotic, non-invasive, uh, because traditionally what we have done doesn't work. Uh, and so, and I'm not here to knock the Suboxone or the Methadone or, or things like that, um, but for me, um, there has to be an alternative. And so uh, that this presented an alternative to the traditional narcotic detoxes that were out there. All we ever saw was that a person would uh, get treated and then relapse, get treated and then relapse, get treated. And then when I come to find out the national trend that most uh, of everyone who was treated, uh, one and a half percent is the number that do not relapse within the first year, that is horrible and that was pathetic. And so again, my excitement heightened when I found out that when we treated folks in Eastern Kentucky, we had about 74% that did not relapse within the first year. What we see on a, on a daily basis is people in a short period of time restored to a pre-addiction state where they can choose to stop taking drugs. And the evidence is long-term a large number of them do. It's different. I mean, it makes you feel a lot better. I mean, you don't get the withdrawals. Uh, so that's one thing you don't have to worry about. That's the main thing you gotta worry about. It's a really good thing. I mean, it, it works out for you. And it helps you get through it through the hardest times, you know, which is your first week or so of withdrawals and all that. But. Come to find out that once the, the box is hooked up, there's almost an aha moment uh, for them. Um, that something happens inside of them that makes them just breathe. And then the real miracle takes place. Uh, and, and it is a miracle uh, because I've, I know what it's like to go through detox. I've felt it and I've seen it. You know, traditionally, if we've got a guy that has the strength to cold turkey detox, you, you know, I have to plant my sleeping bag under his bed um, and we're cleaning up puke and we're cleaning up diarrhea and we're crying and we're laughing and we're praying. Um, it's a real difficult situation. I actually took a device to North Carolina and I treated my dad who was diagnosed with mesothelioma. He couldn't come off the morphine because of the, se the severe withdrawal symptoms that accompanied. So I took a device down. They only had three days to do it. I took a vacation and went down and uh, we hooked him up to the device. Uh, me and him, neither one slept for two days. But uh, by the time we left, he was opiate free and uh, he, uh, he got his life back. He's still opiate free today. And uh, uh, my mom is excited because she got her husband back. And I'm excited because I got my dad back. A common misconception about NET is that it is shock therapy or aversion therapy. We use a nine volt battery in this device. The level of sensation is, is very low. It's completely controlled by the individual. There is no aversion therapy. What we're literally doing is stimulating your brain to reproduce dopamine and serotonin and alter its structure. 
If an individual, a man or a woman, wish to be treated with NET and to participate in this clinical study, they can contact me at our website or they can contact the principal investigator at Spalding University. And we would treat either of them at Isaiah House in Willsburg, Kentucky. If people would like to investigate, there's a fair amount of information available on the web. You can go to our website, www.netdevice.net, netdevice.net. We also have a Facebook page at Facebook slash net recovery. So our vision is not just that a device would be made available. It's that a system, a community-based infrastructure would develop that allows NET to be a tool inside of short-term residential care with long-term community involvement. When I first heard about the NET device, I was sort of skeptical myself. Uh, but after experiencing, uh, seeing uh, 64 guys going through the treatment, uh, I've come to believe that it does work. On the third day, they're usually out on the softball field playing softball or up in the gym playing full court basketball. So by all means, I think this is a miracle from God. Where I've been uh, doesn't have to be where I go. And uh, that's the beauty of this device. So somebody who is addicted to opiates, they have flat affect, they have a dead face around the eyes and the mouth. All of the muscles are relaxed. Six days after NET, people's faces come alive. You can see in their face interaction. You can see them respond to smell. If you work in the drug world and someone stops cold turkey, three days later, they are lying curled up in a corner. If someone stops cold turkey and uses NET, three days later, they're throwing a football in the backyard and they're laughing. It is a very, very visible difference.